What is up guys? My name is Mark Semery. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the MSM on the road vlog. This is actually a vlog for both the channels. Uh, guys, you won't believe. Look at this. I'm gonna try to get closer. There's no lead. <laughs> There's nothing to stop me from going all the way down. This is like super scary. I'm recording from the most extreme spot that I found at the Grand Canyon. The boys are up there. All the people are up there. I went all the way out of the ledge. I could go out to that ledge, but that ledge is is extra. You know what? Let's let's do it. Let's do it. Holy crap, guys! I'm out here. It's super scary. That's a long way down. Uh, the reason why I'm going to scoot back is because that rock's kind of small. But anyways, today I want to tell you guys about something that happened earlier this year. I had a life-changing event. This is something I've been wanting to do. I didn't really want to do on my other vlog channel since it's RC related, but with MSM on the road, we're on the road. And, uh, you know, this is a good time to do it. So, oh, man, this is breathtaking. Let's take a look. Unfreaking real. I couldn't have picked a better spot <laughs> to record this vlog that's so important. All right. Sorry, if I'm shaking, it's because I really am shaking. I'm not going to move them up too much because I want to fall off this rock. Anyways, early this year, I caught what caused, I caught the i guess the virus that caused the whole pandemic i don't want to say it everyone knows what it is starts to see ends with an ovid i don't want to talk about it too much because i don't want this video to get taken down because i think this one's really important but anyways i learned something and the reason why it was life-changing is when i was in the hospital i truly truly thought i wasn't gonna make it like uh everything that's been in the media when you're in the hospital um all that's on tv is the death rate those kind of things it was so freaking scary I truly didn't think I was gonna make it. And when I when I was in there, the only thing I could think about, guys, the only thing I could think about was the time with my family. My boys, my, my wife, my mom and dad, was all that time with my family that I wish I could go back to. Um, you probably have noticed on a lot of the channels that I've been traveling a lot. I don't wanna ever lose those times. Like that, they're, they're so important to me. They're, they should be important to everybody because the last thing that you think of when you're not sure if you're going to make it is your time with family. I don't think about all the material things I have. I don't think about my cars. I don't think about my RC cars. I don't think about, I definitely don't think about work. Uh, the last thing I'm worried about is work. So the fact that that's the way I felt, like that's how you really should position your life and prioritize things. That's just my experience. But from here on out, after that time, it was memories with my boys, memories with the family. Um, not so much the material things and uh, really just enjoying life because life is way too short. It scared the crap out of me, but it was truly a blessing in disguise because every once in a while you need kind of a refresher or something like that to happen to remind you what really is important in life. Golly, look at this, guys. I'm on this ledge. There is nothing that's not, I'm so scared right now. Look at this, these people up there. Oh my God, this is so far. Okay. Sorry, I'm like sweating up a storm, but I got to say one more thing. So other than that life changing event, the one thing that I regret is whenever I started my career, I would always put my work in front of like my PTO and spending time with my friends and family. I remember my very first job, like I never took PTO because they needed, I, they needed me there. And I was so dedicated to that company. And then whenever I got let go or whenever I, I didn't get let go, whenever I left, they didn't even give me those PTO days back. They didn't pay me for them. I completely lost them. And I lost all those opportunities to make memories with my friends and family. Don't do that. Don't do that, guys. Um, take your PTO. Not saying don't be the best you can at your work, but definitely take your PTO, spend time, make, spend time with your family, make, make memories. Because again, you don't think about work. <laughs> you don't think about work when you think it's the end. I Just trust me on this one. So anyways, I hope this message serves someone well. I'm gonna get off this thing because I am terrified. I am shaking up a storm and Ethan's already back up there. I wanna get Evan off this thing. I'm gonna take a few pictures up here, but wow, unreal. Spend time with your family, make memories, spend time and do the things that are important in life, which is your friends, family, your religion, those things, guys. Take your PTO. Later, guys. All right, guys, in case you're wondering, that's where we were at. We were on the edge. There's a whole bunch of people back there like contemplating on going. Um, yeah, we did it. It was super scary. But anyways, like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. See you guys next time.